Hong Kong will choose a new leader next month after Carrie Lam today announced she will not be running for a second term as chief executive. Mrs Lam says her family takes precedence over everything and they all think that it's time for her to return to them. Leadership contenders now have two weeks to declare their candidacy. They have to secure at least 188 votes from the committee of 1,500 largely pro-Beijing electors who will decide the city's next leader on May 8th. With more is our Hong Kong correspondent Claire Huang. Claire, is it surprising or more like a long time coming given what's unfolded in Hong Kong during Mrs Lam's five-year term? Well, Harento, um, when the grapevine started buzzing, and that was a long time ago, at least a year ago, more than a year ago, Mrs. Lam was a front runner. Uh, then along the way, there were other people's names that were floated. You are looking at former Chief Executive Leong Chunying, that was her predecessor. Uh, and, uh, you know, further down, it was former World Health Organization Director General Margaret Chan. And then there was uh, also Financial Secretary Paul Chan, uh, whose name was also mentioned. And then of late, uh, the Chief Secretary uh, for Administration, John Lee's name, uh, popped up next to Mr. Paul Chan. So at that time, Mrs. Lam was not completely ruled out yet although there were uh, some specific media, local media, that uh, indicated as much. Um, the belief uh, is that Mrs. Lam's handling of the COVID-19 situation uh, might have uh, snuffed out any chance uh, she had. So at some point, I think we, if you do a recap of her term so far, you know, uh, it has been marked by, uh, you know, things like the 2019 unrest, it has been marked by US sanctions, uh, the rollout of the national security law, the electoral system reform. Um, these are all things that were not, most of them were not, uh, you know, uh, popular with uh, Hong Kongers. Now, uh, there is a school of thought that uh, the only logical uh, conclusion is then to get a fresh person, a new person in now that these things have been settled so that the next chief can start from a clean slate. I'll just touch uh, about the potential candidates in just a bit, uh, Claire. But what I want to know is what would Mrs. Lam's exit uh, mean for Beijing's influence on Hong Kong? Well, uh, some observers have uh, pointed out that, uh, you know, her exit is a sign that Beijing wants stability uh, and more control over the city. So in the past few months, right, uh, a thing that was uh, uh, brewing, uh, the undercurrent was that, and it's been a colourful past few months, uh, were the uh, growing uh, criticisms of Mrs. Lam from people within the pro-establishment uh, camp. Uh, the voices were getting louder and louder, um, and they were more and more, uh, as they got more and more unhappy, of course, her handling of the pandemic added to that, uh, they became more public with their criticisms um, from the pro-establishment camp, and it signals a divide amongst this camp. And uh, some of the lawmakers, you know, are believed to, you know, not, uh, not be very cooperative with her. Local media is reporting that the government's uh, number two official, John Lee, is the front runner to become the next chief executive. Uh, Claire, what can you tell, uh, tell us about him? Well, um, the top possible candidate uh, at the moment is the city's current number two, uh, John Lee, uh, whose last post was uh, security chief, and then he oversaw the coordination of the different disciplines and auxiliary forces during the uh, 2019 unrest. A little bit about his background. So uh, he is from, uh, he, he hails from a police force, you know, background, and he rose up the ranks of the years. Uh, he's the kind of candidate that Beijing uh, will want if the priority is stability, no foreign interference, uh, and you want a strong, firm hand. Uh, as it is, there are some observers who think that uh, it could mean more arrests to come if he takes over. Uh, but there are others who point out that, uh, you know, uh, with Mr. Lee, he can get, uh, he'll be able to form a strong government and you know he can keep Hong Kong safe. He'll be able to push through policy reforms uh, that Hong Kong needs. Claire, thank you so much for the insights. Our correspondent Claire Huang in Hong Kong.